Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to look at the new Outlander by Chic Sparrow. It's a new leather um, that they're offering and compare it to the creme in the dark chocolate and also the original brown Midori and also the Mr. Darcy in toffee just to give you an idea of the differences because we all pain away over choosing our journals and there are so many questions so hopefully this might help a little bit. So here is the absolutely stunning Outlander. This is a narrow size with the stitching and also I requested a stitched in pen loop. Um, this is a personal preference. I prefer the stitched in pen loop because it's always bigger and I like to write with fountain pens and some of my pens do not fit in the loop that is riveted. So I much prefer the, the stitched in pen loop but again it, 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 it's personal preference. So I just want to show you this only has three inserts and I, I'm going to do a flip through of my February. This, <laughs> these are my February inserts um, and there's lots of watercolors so they're really, really squishy and lots of noise of the page turning. Um, and this is the inside of the Outlander and it's sort of a bit suede it's it's soft and it, it, it's not hard and um, it feels really really nice and I want to show you the the whole piece of leather and also its pliability it is very very soft um, very bendy and pliable um, and just wraps around the inserts beautifully some, some people have described this as if, if Mr. Darcy and Creme had a baby. This, this, this would be the baby. Um, and I pretty much agree with that. It's, it, it, it's just, it, it's there, it, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it, it's thinner. It's, it's more like the original Midori. Um, and and it's very very light um, and and I think uh, people who've watched my videos know how I feel about um, having something that's thin and light I love that um, absolutely love it being thin and light so let's bring in the creme in the dark chocolate and this is also very 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 soft um, let's do them together However, it's much, much thicker. So you see when I, I bend it um, here that this is much, much thinner and therefore can bend easily because this is much thicker. It's about the same pliability and softness, but it's much thicker. So, you know, if something's much thicker, it's going to be heavier. Um, and here you can, you can see, you can see the difference in the thickness here. They're both absolutely beautiful, but they are, they are different. Um, I think the dark chocolate, or of course, every cut of leather that you get is going to be a little different, but the dark chocolate is um, a bit darker in color than, than the um, cosmopolitan brown here of the out, um, Outlander. And this also inside is similar, but it's it's a little rougher texture than the inside of the Outlander. Just just a little rougher. And then let's bring in the original brown Midori. This is the Narita Airport edition. And let's also see. Uh, it's 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 really very comparable um, in its softness and its flexibility. And as regards to thickness, 
it is actually about the same. I don't know if you can, I hope you can see that. Very, very similar in, in thickness to the, to the original Midori. Um, a little different inside. Well, actually, not, not much. Um, this is also like suede inside the original Midori, and this is, this is very, very similar. Um, so that's, that's a comparison there. Um, I, of course, like the original Dory because of its slimness. Um, and one of the challenges I had <laughs> with watercoloring a craft insert is it got so, so chunky. Uh, this is just, like I said, three inserts for February. Um, I've got my Daisy Dory and then I've got two two inserts I wrote in. One is the Tomo River paper and the other is the craft paper and it's the first time I've used um, watercolor on the craft paper and it just goes so crinkly and, and delicious. I mean, it makes wonderful noises. Uh, um, but the paper is, is so crinkly um it's uh <laughs> it, it was um very interesting like i said it's the, it's the first time i've used the watercolor on the craft paper and um it it was um it was absolutely lovely it probably made it just a bit too a bit too thick for me and this is the Tomo River paper. This was an insert that Steve Cano um, did for me and I asked for, because since it was the Valentine's month of love, I, I asked for, um, I chose this love paper. And also this has got watercolor on it and it, it makes it, you know, crinkly as well, but nothing quite like the, um, Nothing quite like the craft paper. And then also I watercolor in my Daisy Dory as well. And you know that gets quite quite crinkly. Quite crinkly as well. And then I use the I use the back for um, my to-do list of each day. I, I put my calendar calendar on on, on that. So that was very interesting to watercolor on the on the craft paper. Whether I will do it again, I, I'm not quite sure. And then I also wanted to show you the Outlander as compared to Mr. Darcy, the toffee Mr. Darcy. Um, again, not Mr. Darcy is very pliable and very delicious. But it's not quite as soft and pliable as the Outliner, uh, Outlander, sorry. And then the thickness, I, th I think they're almost the same. Mr. Darcy is just a, li a little, little, little bit thicker than the Outlander. Um, in the, and the difference inside is Mr. Darcy is... Um, a little bit rough, um, not as soft and suede-like as um, as the outliner, Outlander. I don't know why I keep calling it Outline Liner. What's wrong with me? I think I ate too much lunch. Anyway, this is much softer than the Mr. Darcy. They're both absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And I also wanted to let you know that yay! I have opened my Etsy shop. Um, <laughs> I've worked very hard and I've just opened it. So if you would like to have fine art to embellish your precious journals, please head over there. It's, ju it's just under my name, Vanessa Katz. Um, and I, I have the fine art stickers there and the fine art prints and I also have and I'm so excited about this um, I have created these either um, 
either on sticker sheets or fine art paper, it's your choice. Um, color me in girls and trees so you can uh, use your um, colored pencils or crayons or even watercolors. I did so much testing um, to, to see the papers, uh, how they would stand up to watercolors and different crayons etc and here are the trees that you can color in and you know this is me experimenting coloring in some of the girls with watercolors these are all done with Daniel Smith um, watercolors and and I and like I said you can either do, get it on sticker paper which you cut out and then you just stick into your journals or you can get it done on fine art paper, which again you cut out and you just uh, use a tape runner to, to stick in your journals. And the reason I have offered both is because um, the fine art paper is just a little better um, with watercolor. Uh, it's not that noticeable. Um, and, and obviously you wouldn't want to use it really, really, really wet. Um, but they, 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 they just, you know, they turn out beautifully and I just think it's very exciting to have artwork that you can colour in as opposed to just sort of shapes and geometric shapes, which, which is also really fun to colour in. But these are, you know, they are all from my original artwork and also, you know, there's the fine art prints, which... Um, I use um, in my journals, um, you know, inside and on the covers. Um, they're really, really high quality of my girls and trees and lots of different subjects. So those fine art prints are available. You've got um, the stickers available. Now these stickers you just peel off. They're really easy. You peel off and they stick into your, into your, into your, um, into your journals um, of trees and girls and animals um, and and they're a great size because you can just pop them into your folder or into a pocket and um, they're there ready to go um, as soon as as soon as as soon as you want them and just to show you the um, here are some of my stickers that I painted and, and popped into my insert. Um, they're just they're just so much fun. I'm having so much fun with them. And then also I have the little mini stickers um, that are just about less than an inch square, and those of course will will fit in you know into your calendars and. Um, they're, they're a great size as, as the mini stickers. So I hope you can pop over to my Etsy store and, um, you know, put, enjoy putting some, some fine art into your, into your journals. Um, and I hope, I hope that, um, you'll find that, um, exciting and, want to embellish embellish your beautiful journals and it would be an honor to to have my art um, in your journals this is just um, one of my trees uh, a fine art print and and here's a sticker um, and uh, it's it's just so much fun to to pop them in um, and use and and use them and I hope you enjoy it too this is one of Ali Brown stickers. Uh, uh, her a shout out to Ali. She she is creating the most beautiful stickers, and she is on Etsy too. I will I will link her store below. Um, so it's it's just so much fun, um, you know, in, including and uh, adding some some fine art and some some stickers to to. To your to your beautiful beautiful journals, so I hope you enjoy uh, my shop, and I also hope that this little video um, 
will help you choose which kind of journal you want from the wonderful Sheik Sparrow. And and just as a note, you you really can't go wrong with Sheik Sparrow. The 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 journals are so beautiful. Um, the quality is so high, um, and the stitching. I, I just can't say enough about uh, the Sheik Sparrow, and that's why I have so many of them. Anyway, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for being here, and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.